Hey y'all, it's Claudia with Crazy Island Studios. Um, how y'all doing? Have you missed me? I miss you. So, I am I'm glowing today. Can you see that? Yeah. We're calling it glowing because in fact, I am sweating. Oh my gosh. I'm one of those people. I'm going to share too much right now. Y'all ready for this? Okay. So I sweat like too much in the face. First, like my armpits don't sweat. Like really hardly ever at all. But the face, like the thing that everybody sees. Yeah, I'm glowing. It's so hot here in Hawaii right now. We are supposed to be being hit by a, I had to set my arm down. I was tired holding up my camera. Um, and I'm actually holding it in my hand, which is very not typical for me. And I'm looking at the wrong place because new camera. I'm so confused. Okay, so um, I usually record vlogs on my cell phone. So yeah, hi. Um, new camera today. Those of you who are in JKS know that I've been having a problem with my camera staying in focus. You'll see me check a lot. I'm sorry. It's terrible when you look away from the people that I'm t talking to you people and I keep looking to the side because I'm checking the focus because my camera kept going out of focus in the middle of my lessons and I'm looking down at my workstation so I don't see this until the editing process and then half my videos not good and not there not in focus y'all don't want to see that that's not cool so i have a new camera and we're going to give it a try hope that it works so i know that i've been like not doing any art videos because i've been not feeling well and things are getting just a teeny tiny bit better in certain ways and actually quite a bit worse in other ways i have some um side effects of vitamin deficiency happening in uh, in on in on my body um, I have some dermatitis on my head which is really disgusting and <laughs> that is a sign symptom of vitamin deficiency I also have some really strange um, eruptions on my skin that I am not accustomed to I am just not feeling a hundred percent all the time but I am finally on a regular regimen of my B12 injections and my doctor was finally able to get the prescription prescription put through for the next six months every single week I will not have to miss my injection which I got like two days ago and I'm feeling the effects I'm feeling a little better because it's been a couple of weeks and I was super super tired feel like caca and now I'm feeling quite a bit better because the B12 really helps my energy get back up and since I can't take it orally um, because I'm not absorbing I have a malabsorption issue happening the injections helping yes very much so um, so what are we doing today today can you hear the tractor out there we are planting trees on um, our little orchard I would like want a block I'm sweaty it's so disgusting so I'm so over it. Um, Hurricane Lester is supposed to be hitting us right now. I have no idea when this video is going to get out because of my upload situation, which I think I've got a handle on starting um, about September 10th. Should kick in where I can actually upload a little bit more um, consistently because new cell phone plan, all of our internet is through cell providers right now. So I have a new carrier and I've had some pluses, some negatives in regards to it. I have a signal booster. I have all this stuff going on, but they switched to a whole new program and I'm going to be able to have unlimited um, tethering from my cell phone in 4G LTE. So hopefully at that point I should be able to tether my phone to my computer and upload. So looking forward to that. My new camera also has Wi-Fi and if I can figure out how to tether that to my phone I might be able to do some live streaming like you stream and stuff so that could be fun don't hold your breath because I'm way way behind on this trend and I'm gonna be a little bit more focused on really just getting some content out for you guys before I try focusing on something completely and totally new that I don't know anything about um, what else is happening uh, Hurricane Lester is supposed to have hit us this weekend and has taken a very nice turn to not hit the island, but we are getting the humidity. We had some pouring rain. I wish I would have got some footage of that pouring, pouring rain, and um, now it's stopped, but the humidity is off the charts, and it's in the 80s, and it doesn't sound really bad, but I am, like, I'm, I'm melting in my studio here, and 
Oh, look, I'm in focus. I'm sorry. I keep checking it. I'm sorry. Uh, I try to look at y'all. I'm trying to look at y'all, but I just, I feel like I need to check it. Um, so, so far, so good. Staying in focus, that's a wonderful thing. And um, today, not going to do an art journal page. Why? Because there's a project I've been wanting to do. So I'm just going to share it with you guys. Um, I'm going to do it today, and I'm going to share it with you guys. So it's not an art journal page, but it definitely is artsy. I'm using some deco art products that they sent me that I'm super excited to try out and see how this works. So I'm going to pause this for a second so I can flip the camera around. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be working on. Um, it's actually a tray that I want to use the... Um, Oh, let me reach. Okay, the Metallic Luster um, products from them, which are, I want to say, similar to, what are those called? Uh, Inca Gold, maybe something like that? I don't know. But they are um, like a wax, a metallic wax finish. And I have this gorgeous teal that I'm going to put on my tray. So I'm excited to show you um, how that works and why I'm doing it. And okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my workstation where I work and I like to have, and I, I know I did that little quick studio tour, so i um, not going to do a lot of talking about what I have going on here and the, the windows back there. So I like to have a lot of my stuff out. And because I do everything at this desk, I even have like my my skincare routine is sitting here. Um, my crystals are here because I just need them to be close to me, and then all my artsy stuff is here as well. And I have that tray, which I love. It's a little wooden tray. It's from a company I can't remember the name, but I will show it to you because it's stamped on the side. So I'll show you when I pull it out of there. I wanted to show you how I use it first. It is sitting on top of like a USPS postal service box, just sitting on a cardboard box that I have closed up that it's sitting on top of. So that raises it up above the level of my desk. Here's at a desk level. So I have my rinse waters and stuff and some brushes really close on hand. And then for behind it, I didn't want it sitting down where I couldn't see it. So I have it up here. Those of you who are going to ask me about that feather, it's for smudging, for sage smudging, for wafting the smoke around. I do a little bit of smudging, um, especially after we've been sick or something. I've been sick a lot. So often after that, um, because it helps to remove the toxins and stuff from the air. So, um, but that tray holds a bunch of little tins of my products and brushes. And I hope that's not too loud. I have, I have my little fan right here blowing on me because I will just melt into a puddle of goo otherwise in this community. So I have some cute little tins like this little skull one. Can you see the little skull? I like it. And then I have some plain just pencil cups which I'm also going to work on covering and seeing if I can cover those because they are covered in holes because they're like metal mesh but we're going to give that a try another day. But I want to work on this wood tray. Here's the problem that we have in Hawaii. Everything freaking molds because the humidity is insane. So Plastic items are good, metal items are good, um, wood items, leather, forget about it. My daughter's Italian leather purse that a very lovely lady gave her, destroyed. So, wood is another one of those. And I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to try the zoom feature here and see, can you see this? Do you see that? That fuzzy, fuzzy stuff right there, that's mold. So, it's not like you would think black mold, dangerous mold. It's not like that. It's just what grows from the humidity. It's humidity. It's very powdery type mold and it grows on the unfinished wood in my house or around my house. So I have a couple of bookshelves that I've had that problem with and I've washed them with a borax and water and baking soda solution and that seems to help. A lot. I also put a bunch of sachets of borax and baking soda. I do a lot of things in regards to fighting the mold, but I don't want to have to wash this on a regular basis and it's just boring wood. So I'm going to clean it all off and then I'm going to put that wax on it that you can't see. Yeah. And then we're going to seal it with a clear coat. Okay, so I have my tray here all cleaned up and it obviously had something put on it or sprayed on it because it's got a metallic glittery finish but it still feels like a very raw wood which is why I have 
the problems with the mold growing on it is that it's very absorbent. So it is a, I did find the name, Melissa and Doug. If y'all know who that is, let me know. I don't know what that's from. Is it like a home decor type company or is it like one of those ones where you get like a box full of treats or meats and cheeses or something. I don't know. Let me know if you know what that is. So it's a little bit different um, on the sides and the front than it is on the inside, but I'm going to just give it a go with this metallic luster, which um, if you look it up at decoart.com, I'll give you some information, some ideas on how to use it. It is very simple, just a simple cream wax. Look at how shiny that is. I don't even think I'm going to need to like add any embellishments to this tray with this beautiful shiny turquoise color. So I'm going to just rub this on and I grabbed a couple of pieces of an old t-shirt that I've cut out. And I was thinking of paper towels, but it's going to grab at the paper towels like it did at the wipes that I used to clean it because it's rough and then the paper towels are going to shred and get mixed in so I definitely want to use a cotton cloth um, for this because the paper would just make a big goopy mess and I'm going to do a couple of areas for you and then I'll probably speed through the rest of it so I just want to see like inside what will it look like so let's get a good area done and we'll also be finding out exactly how much of this product will be needed for this type of project and how far will it spread because I have a big concern that I'm going to use it all up on one project. I think that's a definite possibility, but I'm going to give it a go. DecoArt does supply me with some products because I am a member of their Helping Artist program. So it feels a little bit less wasteful to me to use up a product um, for a demonstration because I didn't pay for it. So bless their hearts for being such a blessing to allow me to be able to do this kind of thing. All right, so already you can see like that's so beautiful. So beautiful. I love it. And I'm going to try and really rub it in and get this product to spread as thoroughly as possible, as far as possible. But before I go into the speed through, I want to go ahead and see and let you guys see what it looks like up here on the top. And I have it kind of gloppy, so I'm going to spread it around first and just see. Now on this much more smooth surface, I can already tell this is going to go a lot farther, which leads me to believe that I will not be doing the bottom, this entire big dry space, because I'll never see the bottom. And I will spray it with the clear coat though, but it looks to me as though, I'm gonna stand up here because I'm sitting down and I'm short and can't see what I'm doing. Um, I actually kind of feel bad now that I did the inside <laughs> first because I could have left the inside or painted it instead of doing the wax. I was just feeling like the wax is going to really protect the wood more than if I just painted it. I mean, I guess I could just paint it, but this is so pretty and this is what it's used for. So I wanted to give it a try and it's really kind of beautiful and I almost kind of like I have to decide now, see, do I want to really rub it in or allow that grain to show through because it looks kind of cool with some of the wood grain showing through. I'm going to do a heavier coat simply because my purpose behind doing this is to um, seal my wood against the moisture that I have a problem with and waxy products do that, as do acrylic, and I'll be using an acrylic spray sealer on this, also from... Um, Deco art. It's an Americana product. I'll show you that whenever I get to that point. And okay, so I'm really liking this. I am going to 
have to take some time to really work this into the wood if I want it to spread farther and then I also have to get into these inside areas so I am going to I was thinking I would just speed through this process and let you see me do the rest of it but like do you really just want to watch me wipe something even in speed through that sounds boring so I think I'm going to just come back to you as soon as this is done and show you what it looks like before I spray the clear coat okay so I'm nowhere near done but as you can see, I'm still working on it. And I decided, um, notice one thing that I think is totally true and will make everything easier is to, instead of starting with the big flat areas or like I did this entire area, just start on the inside areas inside all of these nooks and crannies because then as you're rubbing into these areas, you're pushing some of the product around and then it ends up kind of clumped up and then needs to be rubbed back in anyways. So I'm now working on getting inside of all of these areas first and I'm finding that I'm having some trouble getting into like the corner areas and as I'm doing the inside of this, getting in and around some of these areas. So what I've done is I've grabbed a stiff brush and um, I don't know what this is called. They're called like scrubby brushes or something at my art store and it's actually just a really, really stiff brush and I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to wash this product out but since I'm not sure, I'm using a really cheap stiff brush and I'm going to work on applying this product and really getting it into those areas uh, that's hard for my fingertip to push into. So I just wanted to stop and show you that you know this is a little something that I've decided needs to come out and give it a try to um, really get this product into some of these areas and if that's something that's going to frustrate you, um, stick with putting this stuff on like like flower pots that don't really have <laughs> corners and creases and things like that so okay oh I just put myself in the face with the tray in my lip that was fun don't do that part at home okay um so I just wanted to stop for a second and let you know that that's what I'm doing working this product into all of the corners with a brush and then I'll go back and wipe all of the parts with the um with my cloth again okay I'll be back when this is done Okay, so I'm all done and I'm standing again, so if I sound weird, that's why. I am like covered in blue flicks of um, waxy stuff now and it's all over my hands. But it appears that it comes off rather easily. I haven't tried it yet. But I did rinse my brush in just some plain water and it came right out. So I am super happy about that. The brush made all the difference in the world in being able to get into all those nicks and crannies. I will admit, having had carpal tunnel surgery and still some serious, serious problems with pain and tendonitis and stuff, my right hand from holding the cramp position of rubbing and my left arm from holding everything in place, I'm in some serious pain from doing this project. So if you have those similar issues, this might not be the thing for you, especially something with so many little areas to get into. That said, if you were doing just the outside of something, something really smooth, it could go really quickly. This took a little while, but I did insist upon getting inside of every little bit of all of these corners and down inside of all of these corners and then there's this extra piece there was a lot of little bits to get into but look how pretty it is it's so pretty i love how pretty this looks i can't wait to see it up finished i did not do the bottom although there is some on the bottom and i'm thinking that i might just because i have some left now i did go through a good majority of this product but it still covered a lot i mean i was not chintzy and this wood is sucking this stuff in so might as well just give a real quick swipe. I didn't really spread that very well as I'm trying to not over apply the product. But as you can see on a project that was large and flat, <laughs> uh, this really wouldn't be all that difficult to complete or and it would go really quickly. Um, 
Again, because I picked a tray that has tons and tons of nooks and crannies, it took a little time. It really did. And I'm really, really um, paying attention to working this into the grain of the wood. So that also took extra product and extra elbow grease because I am concerned about sealing this wood. So that's another thing to consider. Can you see? I'm going to zoom and see if you can see the difference. Right here, none of this is like in that grain. So I'm really like scrubbing it into that grain um, crosswise and then going back over it with the grain to give it a nice finish. And it definitely loses some of its streaks as it dries, but you can totally uh, see where I have to go really into it to, um, to get the coverage and to fill in that grain. So, okay, let's just real quick finish this. Okay, so all done, completely covered. Love the pretty, pretty color. I'm so excited. And this stuff dries really quickly. So I won't set it down on this side, but I do have that little fan going on the side of me. And as I was working, um, each side dried quickly enough that I don't have a whole lot of product. I mean, I do have some. It's a mess. But um, considering that I was grabbing this while it was wet and flipping it around and turning it and stuff, it dries really quickly. And it's not really hard to deal with or work around, which I'm really, um, was very pleased about that it dried so quickly. And I am going to let it finish drying completely and then I'm going to give it a spray with the sealer. I'll be right back to show you that sealer because it's not actually here and in my studio. That I'll be spraying outdoors. So, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so my project's finished. Excuse the sounds if you hear the boys talking out back. They are, um, working on doing some plumbing stuff in the cabin. So this is the product that I used um, on top of it. I'm trying to see, do I have good light? Can you see? You can see better than I can see the camera. Um, so it's just from Americana. It is an acrylic sealer slash finisher. It is matte, which I always do matte sprays. Um, like I would say 99% of the time. So this is just a waterproof coating. Basically, it's like a sealer. On the back, what does it say? It says it's a clear, protective, non-yellowing, waterproof coating that provides permanent protection to all painted finishes. There we go. So I sprayed the whole thing with this, a good couple of coats, not too thick, and um, because you want them to dry and not build up or get cloudy. So uh, it's just a quick spray paint of this. It is a deco art product as well. So um, I'm done, like it's finished. Now this is not perfect. You can see right here and right here, there's a couple of spots. You can kind of see where I did too much spray and it gets a little bit cloudy. So you have to, I, I have a tendency to like overdo everything. So um, yeah, it's what I do and it's not, Perfect coverage like a paint. You can kind of see the wood and the grain through some of the wax and a little bit dirty because everything's dirty. Uh, but otherwise I'm done and I like it and I can't wait to see what it looks like. And I knew, I know like you can see this dense. This tray was like a 50 cent um, thrift store find and it came pre kind of dented and whatever. It's just a tray. It's cool. I am still like... I'm done with it. I need to just stop and put it aside. I love the color. I really want to do some like black polka dots or lines on it and I'm afraid that's going to just like be overkill because it's really pretty how it is. But I have, I'm like, I have a serious temptation to do some black um, things on it. So we, we might do that. I might do that. Maybe just on the front. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me think about it for a second. Okay, so here it is all finished and all my stuff put back on it. I wanted to see what it looked like before I went ahead and decided on adding any black decorations and I just like it blue. It's a nice pop of color over there. I'm sorry for the backlight, but there's a window right above. See, bit bright light. Um, and it's cloudy today, so you can imagine if I tried to record this on a sunny day. So there it is, 
it is awesome I love it it's another bright pop of color I may even like cover that box down there with something else like spray paint or something like just to make it black or I don't know maybe some duct tape just to make it less of a cardboard shipping box yeah okay so I know somebody's going to ask me because my um, my adorable little day of the dead pen is sticking out that is just a pen everybody's gonna ask me what that is it's just it's just a pen and it's so cute and I think think we found them at Hot Topic one day um, so that's where that's coming from I already told you about the feather any other weird things that big long blue thing is a big giant incense stick my daughter gave me and the pink puff ball back there is also the top of a pen I like kooky pens, so. Alrighty, that's all for now. I'm gonna turn the camera around and say goodbye to you guys. Okay, so I thought I'd flip the camera around and say hi again. I am less glowing today because um, I let this dry overnight, so um, it's not nearly as hot today. I also have zero makeup on um, because it's Sunday and it's kind of like a no makeup day for me. So I know it's not a huge change because I don't wear a lot of makeup anyways, but this is the no makeup. This is the, the real me. As scary as it is. Oh, I'm looking at myself again. Dang it. I gotta stop doing that with this camera. I just wanna keep checking the focus. I haven't checked it to see if the whole thing's in focus yet. I'll find out in the editing, but fingers crossed that this new camera is going to work. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't really like much of a tutorial, but getting to see how that product worked on some wood, I was really pleased with it. I love the way that it turned out. I'm glad that there's a little bit left. I can play with it in my journal pages too, but I am super excited about what that looks like. And I think I want to do some flower pots. I think that would be really pretty for on my lanai. It would be really cool. So in the future, maybe we'll do some of that. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully more videos coming more regularly now that my life seems to be getting back to some sort of normalcy. So I hope so. And I hope to see you guys again very soon. Bye for now.